What's up guys, I'm Jacoby from jacobysjourneys.com and today we're in China and we're gonna be walking across the border to Vietnam. class here in Nanning. So uh, we paid 130 RMB for the business class train and that's a one hour ride from Nanning to Fang Changgang. And then in Fang Changgang you switch over to a bus to Dongxing. So you can also do first class, second class. I think they're around 100 RMB for this one hour trip. So in this video I'm not going into detail about the train here in China. I'll put a playlist here of videos that I have. This is a playlist of videos taking the high-speed train in business class and first class traveling around in China. So again, we're down here in Guangxi, it's in southern China, right next to the Vietnam border. It's just beautiful farmland, mountains, rivers, lakes. Not a lot of people down in this area. What do you think about taking the train versus taking the bus to go to the border? The town just need two hours to get to the border, that's fast. Yeah. And it's more comfortable than to the bus. We arrived from Changgang. So everybody's getting off the train right now, and we're gonna be heading to the bus station here in Fang Changgang. Change over to a bus, and then head to Dongqing. Now we just arrived from Changgang. Then we are heading to the station, the bus station to go, go to Dongqing. Here's some drivers trying to get some customers to go to Dongqing. So basically all these guys are, guys and girls, are trying to negotiate, trying to get you to buy, uh, take their like personal car, private car, to drive you from here to Dongxing. I mean, they'll drive you anywhere, but they want to take you, you know, an hour trip. The bus is like 20 RMB, I think 30 RMB to go an hour. These guys are saying about 100 RMB. You know, really for an hour drive, that's not so bad, but you know, when you're in China, you know, everything is negotiable, right? And they're still following us, still trying to negotiate with us right now. This bus can directly go to Dongxing. Fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, thirty minutes, go to Dongxing from the station. And this is in front of the station, right? Yeah, from the station, go to Dongxing directly. So again, we're on the bus going from Fang Changgang to Dongsheng. They're gonna go through a checkpoint. So when you go through the checkpoint, don't be worried if the bus driver says, hey, if you're a foreigner, you need to get off the bus real quick. You just go to the, into the checkpoint office. They're gonna basically ask you to show your passport. They might wanna take a copy. Um, otherwise, they might just take a look at it and say, okay, go ahead and get back on the bus. And then you're good to go all the way down to Dongsheng. Another piece of advice, just make sure you get back on the right bus. All right, so we've arrived in Dongxing, and what they're gonna do is basically start making stops on this bus, dropping people off, and they're gonna call out the name of each stop. If you don't understand what they're saying, maybe you could try to translate to the, like the bus driver or the, the assistant guy. Um, or if you just stay on, the very last stop is gonna be the bus station, which is where we're going. So this is where the bus will actually bring you to if you come from Feng Changgang or directly from Nanning to Dongxing. This is where the bus is gonna drop you off here at this bus station. And then from here, you would take a little uh, taxi, a little e-bike taxi, and go to the actual border crossing, which is what we're gonna do tomorrow morning. So we'll show you all of that. But for tonight, this is the bus station. We're gonna go to a food street, go check out a little bit of what there is to do here in Dongxing. If you're not interested to see what to do here in Dongxing, I'll put a time right here that you can skip ahead to, and that will be tomorrow morning when we're actually crossing the border into Vietnam. All right, Na, so where are we now? We are at the Huang Hua Gang Lu Fu Street. Usually these streets for local people, they, they come very often, but the other, like, couple blocks away, tourists will go there. So where are we going now? We're up. We are going to Guizhou Lu. The local people rec recommend us to go to Guizhou Lu. To, maybe they have a more small snacks. Yeah. 
across the street there's a, a fruit market. Here it's just like a walking street and go straight to the end is the border. Border to Vietnam? Yeah. We can walk to Vietnam tonight? Yeah, walk to Vietnam. <laughs> Alright, so the motorcycle driver just dropped us off here. So this is Koi Jo Lu. You can see behind me they have lots of food stands. So we're gonna check the snacks we can get and what kind of shopping you can do here in Koi Jo Lu. Really? You want one? Yeah, one more. What was it like? Yeah. Papaya and banana. It's real. <laughs> uh, how much was it? Ten koi. Ten koi for some fresh fruit. Yeah, expensive though. Lost in Dongshan. <laughs> so what do you think about this food uh, shopping street here in Dongsheng? A lot of the stores to sell the clothes and the, the, some barbecues. Yeah. Alright, so that's about it for this food street here in Dongsheng. So you can see there's not a ton of stuff. There's basically like little snacks. But it's definitely worth coming and checking out if you're here in Dongsheng in the evening time. Welcome to Guizhou Lu! <laughs> no, it's too crazy! No, no! The next morning... All right, good morning. It's now the next morning. And behind me, you can see this is the actual bus station. So if you take the bus here from Fengshan Gang or from Nanang, this is where they're gonna drop you off. Behind this building, they have like a bus parking lot. So the bus is gonna pull up, you're gonna get off the bus, and there's gonna be a line of taxi drivers. And they also might have some like motorcycle taxis. So now we're in the bus yard. So this is where the bus is gonna park when you arrive in Dongxing. So we're gonna go talk to the taxi drivers now and find out what it will cost to actually go from here to the border crossing. How much? 13. 13 kwai? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, so this guy's told us 13 kwai to go from here to the border crossing, but they're also trying to combine people, so they're trying to get as many people as they can in this like taxi van, but it might just be us. But yeah, about 13 RMB for the car to go to the border crossing. I mean, there's motorcycle taxis if you don't have a lot of bags. You can just take a motorcycle taxi, um, and they're probably like 8 to 10 kwai. So again, it all comes down to your negotiation skills, which still isn't too bad. I mean, less than $2 to go from here to the border crossing for two people. Got it? Yay! Walking to Vietnam now! All right, so now we're at this kind of a main square. You can see there's tons of taxis around me. So this is where the taxi driver is going to drop you off. And then from here, you're just going to walk down the street to the actual border crossing building. You can see along this whole path, there's just a ton of shops. So you can buy stuff that's you know made in Vietnam, made in China. There's all kinds of food. Uh, there's travel companies if you want to book some kind of a travel excursion. There's some different companies that you can uh, buy different packages here too. There's a ton of alleys, little side streets with all kinds of products. Have enough time that you can explore around and check some of these places out. See anything good? Yeah, I think this one's really good like for mosquito bites or when you get hurt, it really helps for almost for everything. Mm. So this building behind me is called Dongshin Koan, and this is the actual building that you're going to go into to do the border crossing. This building is open from 8 a.m. until 9 p.m., so make sure that you come between those times. You're going to go up into the security, then go through the actual customs, and then we're going to go across a bridge, which is basically connecting China to Vietnam. We're about to do that right now, so I'm going to have to unfortunately turn off my camera because I'm not going to bring this through customs. But then once from the other side, I'll turn it back on and then show you what it looks like once you pop out on the other side. All right, so we just went through the Chinese security. So you can see behind me, this is uh, kind of the exit of China. So right now we're standing on a bridge. And this bridge is between China and Vietnam. So right now we're kind of in between two countries, so to speak. So we're over this river. So you can see this is a pretty busy border crossing. All kinds of goods going back and forth from China to Vietnam. Food, toys, all kinds of different merchandise stuff. Also, you know, a lot of shoppers, travelers. This is a really popular way to come to cross the border from China into Vietnam. All right, so again, now I'm on the Chinese side. Now I'm in Vietnam. But not technically because I haven't gone through customs, but you get the idea, right? We're right over the river in the middle of this bridge. So it's that easy to walk from Vietnam to China. Now you're in both countries. You're in two countries at once, huh? Are you ready to walk into Vietnam? Almost to Vietnam. One second. 
All right, so we just went through the customs here in Vietnam. So you see behind me, this is basically the exit or the entrance if you're coming this way. And it's, customs is really quick. Uh, maybe the whole process from going from China into Vietnam, walking across, and maybe 30 minutes. If there's a lot of uh, tour groups, which is go there's going to be, there's always a ton of tour groups in this area, bypass them, just walk around them. If you're just by yourself or you know two or three people, just go around the tour groups. Uh, find the foreigners aisle but yeah it's pretty straightforward don't wait behind all the all the tour groups trust me they'll take you forever so once you leave this area you can see behind me there's a bunch of buses so this is the place that you can grab a bus if you want to go to Hanoi the different cities from here it's gonna just take you directly and also behind me you can see there's a bunch of taxis motorcycles so here you would negotiate with them for you know whatever price you think is fair to go somewhere here in this city or basically to go anywhere going into Vietnam I definitely recommend to take the high speed train first because it's just one hour. Not too expensive to pay for the business class. Even for like second class, it, it will cost too much. And if you don't want to take the bus from Phong Trang to Dong Xing, then you can always take the is it DD or ta taxi by the meter, right? Yeah, don't negotiate a good price. Yeah, make sure you're safe. All right, so this gives you an idea basically of what it's like to cross the border from China into Vietnam, into Mong Cai. Really cool experience. I really recommend that you come and do this if you've never walked across the border. It's a pretty interesting experience, being able to see just the hustle and bustle of what's going on. And then when you get here to Vietnam again, obviously you can go anywhere you want to in Vietnam. So it's a perfect place to do that border crossing. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit subscribe. I upload new adventure travel videos every week. And remember, life's about the journey, not just the destination.